I may not be a Wizards fan, but I sure do understand their pain. Forget winning the championship. Forget making it to the NBA Finals. The Washington Wizards have not made it to the Conference Finals since 1979. 1979! Almost 40 years ago when they were still the Washington Bullets. And yes, that is by far the longest Conference Finals drought out of any team that is as old as the Wizards. They've had some success these past couple years, but that hasn't been enough to get them to where they want to be. With LeBron continuing his reign on the Eastern Conference and the Boston Celtics positioning themselves to overtake the East once LeBron declines, Washington's future as a championship contender is objectively in doubt, especially with an uneventful offseason. But while they may not be legitimate championship contenders this season, there is one free agent in 2018 that could join the Wizards and bring a championship back to DC Sports. What's up guys, welcome to MDJ, my name is Nobody Gives a Fuck. And judging by the thumbnail, judging by the footage, judging by the title, you already know who I'm talking about. The 2018 free agent that can change the Wizards franchise is LeVar Ball. <laughs> Just kidding. We're talking about DeMarcus Cousins. I don't think I need to do much of an intro here. DeMarcus Cousins is arguably the best big man in the league. The only guy that can really challenge that title is a healthy Anthony Davis, but regardless, DeMarcus Cousins is really, 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 really good. Not only is he really good, he's really good at a lot of things. Face up, post up. Mid-range, three-pointers, driving to the rim, handling the ball, passing the ball. He's as versatile offensively as they come. He's also quite the personality off the court. We all know of the anger issues and the childish behavior he had in Sacramento, leading the league in technicals by a wide margin. But I do agree with people who said that Sacramento's toxic environment forced the worst out of him. And I refuse to believe that someone who donates so much to charity and did so much for the community is by any means a bad person. But that's in the past. Now he's on the Pelicans and the Pelicans have a lot to figure out. They kept Drew Holiday and they signed Rondo, but with no wing players and two stars with a history of being injury prone, I would be shocked if this team makes it into the top four seed, seeing as they are competing with Golden State, Houston, San Antonio, and OKC. Not to mention Minnesota, Denver, Portland, Memphis, LA, you get the point. I would love to see DeMarcus Cousins and Anthony Davis figure it out in New Orleans and for the team to be good, but objectively speaking, there's a good chance that this team will fail. And if it does, DeMarcus Cousins will be looking to join a new team. Now with a player of DeMarcus Cousins caliber, there will be a lot of teams pursuing him. But out of all those teams, if I had to bet today, I would bet that he will choose the Washington Wizards. Here's why. As many of you guys know, DeMarcus Cousins and John Wall played together in their only year at Kentucky. Over the years, they've remained very good friends and have openly talked about how they would love to play with one another once again. And that matters because neither player are, let's just say, easy going. DeMarcus Cousins obviously had his locker room issues in Sacramento, and John Wall before last season wasn't particularly fond of Bradley Beal and the fact that Beal made more money than him. Although as the Wizards began winning games last year, the relationship got a lot better. Now right after Cousins was traded from Sacramento to New Orleans, former ESPN reporter Mark Stein interviewed John Wall and asked him, did you ever talk to your former Kentucky teammate and fellow NBA All-Star DeMarcus Cousins about playing for the Wizards before the Kings dealt him to the Pelicans? Now, usually when players get asked questions like these, they generally like to brush it off because you might get fined for talking about other players' contracts in future. So they usually say stuff like, yeah, I've talked to him about it, but you know, it's his decision. But no, this was John Wall's response. I talked to him. He said he would come to DC, but he didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know he was going to be traded like that. We thought it was going to be later on or he was just going to stay. It shocked me just like it shocked him. There are a couple takeaways from this quote. One, it definitely sounded like DeMarcus Cousins was open to staying in Sacramento if they offered him a max contract in 2018, despite all the internal issues they had. Two, he did not expect to get traded, which shocked John Wall as well. Three, DeMarcus Cousins coming to the Wizards is obviously more than just a Kentucky fantasy. And while I don't think Wall meant to say this quote with a tone like, he said he would come to DC, like Boogie already made his mind up, it was probably something like, he said he would come to DC. Like he's absolutely open to it. Now I know you guys are probably gonna like, oh, but MDJ, that's just one quote. Yeah, that's true, it's one quote. But again, this is free agency. This is predicting the future. We have to work with what we're given. The fact is, we have heard very little to nothing about DeMarcus Cousins' free agency plans in 2018. This quote by John Wall, one of his best friends, a trustable, reliable source, is already much more than we've heard about DeMarcus Cousins joining any other potential team. Okay, so let's say DeMarcus Cousins wants to come to DC. Do the Wizards have enough cap space? The answer is yes and no. No in the sense that with the current roster, they will not have nearly the money to offer Cousins a max contract. But yes in the sense that they could make a couple moves. 
First, they would definitely have to dump Ian Mahimi's $60 million per year contract, which, by the way, is just is is just horrible. And then they would probably have to get rid of Marching Gorta too, so you can clear a combined $29 million, which is more or less what Cousins will be asking for. Fortunately for Washington, they do have most of their first round picks in the near future, so they do have the assets for salary dumping. This is of course assuming that they keep Otto Porter Jr. and his $26 million per year contract, but honestly, if I'm the Wizards, which I'm not, but if I'm the Wizards, I would be open to trading Otto Porter even though I just matched his contract, because if all you do is clear Mahimi and Gortat, you're left with a great starting five and possibly the worst bench in the league. This also partially depends on how Kelly Oubre performs. If he can improve his game, especially his three-point shot, you'd be much more willing to trade away Otto Porter as he becomes more expendable at the small forward position. And then you'd have an extra 12 million to go after bench players like Lou Williams and Wayne Ellington, who are both going to be free agents in 2018, while retaining Gortat as your big man coming off the bench. Obviously, the Cavs or the Celtics could both look drastically different in 2018 as well, but let's just say that John Wall, Bradley Beal, and Boogie would be quite the big three, and that is certainly a championship core. Again, nobody can predict the future, but to me, this move makes too much sense not to happen. For a guy like DeMarcus Cousins, who has spent the majority of his career in a toxic environment, Environment with constant change in ownership, coaching, and teammates, there's no question that he's looking for stability, and playing with one of his best friends while contending for a championship fits the bill perfectly. I swear to God, 11 months from now, Boogie's going to sign with the Wizards and I'm going to repost this video because I'm going to look like a genius. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, support the channel by leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Other than that, thank you for watching. My name is Mark, aka MDJ. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Boogie! Okay.